she was crowned the winner of Dancing on Ice at the weekend. And now Olympic gymnast Beth Tweddle's been presented with a golden sculpture of her own body at the Museum of Liverpool. It's all the handiwork of an artist from Sussex called Louise Giblin and she created the piece in her studio near Wadhurst as part of an exhibition of Olympic stars in London last summer. Claudia Spaces has our report. <laughs> champion, a world-class athlete known for her flexibility, agility and strength. Do you know what? I absolutely love it. You can see how much detail it's got on it and the fact that I chose to have it based on my 2009 World Championships when it actually has a double meaning because it was the same venue that I won my Olympic medal in. So it's a great memory to have. Most people choose photographs to have, but um, I've got this nice sculpture. Beth Tweddle won a bronze medal at London 2012. She trains wearing a 22 kilogram jacket, so standing for an hour as the 10 kilogram cast set was relatively easy. It was created by Louise Giblin as part of her Olympian series of sculptures. Each of my Olympians, I ask them what they perceive to be their greatest achievement, and Beth chose to have world gold in 2009. So I found images of Beth competing. After her Olympic success, Beth began a different type of training, training to dance on ice, and her dedication saw her win that trophy on Sunday. Life's been crazy. I mean, post Olympics, I obviously went straight into training for Dancing on Ice. I've been doing all the shows for Dancing on Ice, and it's actually really nice to be back home. Beth joins an illustrious list of Olympians cast by Louise, including Dame Kelly Holmes, Chris Akabusi, and Sally Gunnell. Louise created the sculptures to raise money for brain injury charity Head First. Claudia Sabezis, BBC Southeast Today.